What if I told you that you could make as much as fifteen to twenty thousand dollars per month from the comfort of your home with something as simple as a pair of scissors and a printer? And yes, I am serious. Well, there's one particular category of products that are extremely popular on Etsy, and that category of products are stickers. Stickers are amongst Etsy's top selling products, which means the market for them is very strong, and people who sell stickers on Etsy tend to make a lot of money doing so. And this is something that literally anybody can start doing. If you consider yourself to be a normal person who's just trying to make some extra money on the side, or you're trying to replace your nine to five job altogether, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Because I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how you can start selling your own stickers even if you don't have any previous design experience. I'm gonna be walking you through the entire process from start to finish. I'm gonna create my own Etsy shop, use an easy tool to come up with my designs, wait for sales, and then make my stickers and ship them. And you'll be able to watch the entire thing unfold. Now before we actually jump into the action, I wanna first address the question, why stickers? What makes selling stickers on Etsy such a great way to make money from home? Well, for starters, stickers are small, they're cute, they're cheap, and they're easy to collect. And this makes them great candidates for people who have even a tiny bit of disposable income. And then for you as the seller, they're easy to create, they're super lightweight, which makes them super cheap to ship, and they also require very minimal storage. Plus, stickers happen to be one of the most popular products on Etsy. For example, if I were to go to Etsy and type in stickers, I get pages upon pages of stickers being sold. And this seller right here has 73,000 sales and has earned over $332,000 selling just stickers. And with the tool that I'm going to show you today, you'll be able to create similar designs to these. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is create the sticker designs. And like I mentioned, you don't need any previous design experience to do this because we're just going to head into a website called Kittle, which has a massive library of sticker templates that we can use to easily create our stickers. And to get to this website, all you're going to do is click on my link down below in the video description or the pinned comment. And once you've created your account and signed in, you're gonna hover up here on templates and then click on stickers. And when you do this, you'll land on a page with a massive, seemingly endless amount of sticker templates. And so here's exactly what you'll do to come up with your sticker designs. First, click on any sticker template that you like and I like this one right here, and so I'll click on that one. Now, from here, you're not just gonna download the template exactly how you see it. I mean, technically you could, but it's really easy to edit these designs to create your own unique stickers. And so, for example, instead of this saying, let's dance, we could change it to say something like, good vibes, right? Just something really simple. And all I have to do to change this is click on the text, and then type in good, and then vibes. And then for the background, we'll change this to say, good vibes vibes too so that it matches the text on top of it. And then we can change the disco ball to something like maybe somebody holding up a peace sign or we can just remove the image altogether. And then we'll change the colors really quickly and I'm just gonna make them a little bit more vibrant. And then just like that, within about 30 seconds, we've got a completely new sticker design. And in terms of these sticker designs, you really shouldn't have to overthink it. If we look at some of the stickers that other people on Etsy are selling, you can see that for the most part, these designs are very simple. Typically, it's either some type of two to three word phrase or it's a picture of something, right? And this is something that we can easily replicate within Kittle. And so let's go ahead and do another design so that you can see for yourself just how easy this is. And so I'll head back into the main uh, sticker template page and then scroll until I see something that jumps out at me. And almost immediately, I see something that I like. Now, there are actually five different designs here and I will end up utilizing all of these designs for my stickers, but we're gonna start first with this one right here here that says chill out. And so for this design, I'll start first with changing the text to say something like, um, take it easy. And so I'll change the text. And then lastly, I'll change the colors of the rainbow to be a little bit more vibrant. And again, just like that, within, I don't know, 30 seconds, we've got our second sticker design. And by the way, we're not limited to only creating text-based stickers. You'll notice that a lot of shops on Etsy sell like object-based stickers, right? And so things like sandals or pumpkins or butterflies, and you can easily make these kind of stickers as well. Let's say, for example, that you wanted to make a butterfly sticker 
word like this one right here. Well, within Kittle, I'll simply type in the word butterfly and then scroll through the different templates to find a butterfly that I like. And so let's say that you wanted to go with the butterfly in this template. Well, I can simply choose this template, delete everything within the template except for the butterfly, and then update the colors of the butterfly to be a little more vibrant. And what do you know, within maybe 15 seconds, we've got our third sticker design. And so we just created three different unique stickers within a combined time of maybe one and a half minutes. And if we were to continue making designs, I have no doubt that we could come up with probably 50 different designs by the end of the day. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm only gonna spend maybe the next 10 to 15 minutes coming up with about 10 or 15 new sticker designs. But then we can add these stickers to my Etsy shop and start getting some sales. So it's been about 10 minutes and I've created 12 more sticker designs. And so on top of the three sticker designs that we already made earlier, we now have a total of 15 unique stickers that we can start selling on Etsy. And there's actually one thing that I forgot to mention earlier, but this sticker right here was actually created using Kittle AI. This tool allows us to type in a prompt and have artificial intelligence create a completely custom and unique sticker for us in just a matter of seconds. And now it's time to quickly upload these stickers to our Etsy shop. Now I've already created the Etsy shop just to save a little bit of time for the video, but you can see here the shop is completely empty and we have zero sales, but it's time to change that. I'm going to start first with uploading this sticker here and I want to quickly run through with you a few of the best practices of how to properly create your listing to maximize your sales. For starters, the product image is going to be by far the most important thing, right? You want to have a high quality product image that shows what your sticker will look like in real life. And really the only way to do this is either take a picture of the stickers in real life, similar to how this person is doing here, or you can do what I do and use a mock-up. You'll notice that a lot of sellers on Etsy have their stickers against some type of background. For example, this seller here is literally just using this wooden table image from a website called unsplash.com. You can see these marks here in this image are the exact same marks from their product image, okay? And so they're literally just taking this image from unsplash.com and then using that as their background. And so all they're doing is just downloading the image, placing their sticker design on top of it, and then adding some type of drop shadow to the sticker to give the illusion that it's sitting on top of the table. And so we'll just do the same exact thing for our stickers. So from unsplash.com, I'm just gonna type in wooden table and then find an image that I like. And so after a few seconds of looking, I found this image right here, which I think is perfect and so I'll simply download it for free. And then I'll head back into Kittle, place the image of the wooden table behind my sticker design, and then add a drop shadow to the sticker. And just like that, we've got our product image. And from this point, I would do the same exact thing to all of the other sticker designs. And this process might take you about 20 seconds per sticker. And once all of your sticker mockups are complete, we can go ahead and start uploading all of the stickers to Etsy, being sure to add relevant and keyword rich titles. And then in terms of the pricing, we're just gonna price our stickers similar to this sticker shop right here. They've only been selling stickers for a little bit over a year now and already have 15,000 sales and have made over $100,000. And the way they're doing it is you can either buy any of their stickers individually or you can buy them in bulk in sets of five, 10, or 20. And so we'll do the same exact thing for our shop. We'll start uploading all of the stickers so that people can buy them individually, but then we'll also create two more listings where people can either buy five stickers or 10 stickers, exactly like how this shop is doing. And so I'm gonna spend maybe half an hour doing this, uploading all of the stickers and just getting the shop ready. Okay, so the shop is officially live. You can see here, I've added all the listings. I've added like a banner image and just kind of made the shop look like it was alive and open. And so now all we have to do is just wait for the sales. And I expect it to take maybe between one to two days before we get our first sale. And once we do get our first sale, I'm gonna show you the exact process step-by-step step for getting our stickers here to here in real life which if you remember only requires a pair of scissors and a printer, which I got this printer for like $39 on Amazon and it gets the job done perfectly. 
All right, so it is the next day, and last night, a little bit after midnight, we got our first sale. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here on the screen so that you can see for yourself. This right here is the Etsy dashboard for the shop. And you can see right here that someone ordered a bundle of five stickers. And so let me go ahead and show you exactly what needs to happen to actually get these stickers shipped to our customer. The first thing we have to do is actually print out the stickers. And so from your computer, all you would do is combine Combine all of the stickers that the customer bought within one Kittle document. And all I'm doing is just copying and pasting the stickers from one document onto this main document here. Also, you want to be sure that the document size is the same size as the sticker paper that you're printing on. And for most of you, this will be the A4 option, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. And so I've got my printer connected to my computer and I've got my vinyl sticker paper inside of my printer ready to go. You can find this stuff basically anywhere. Anywhere. I like to buy these ones from Amazon and to actually print these stickers You would treat it the same way that you would if you were printing like a regular document Simply go to your computer click on print and then make sure that it's printing in color Make sure that you've got your vinyl paper set inside of the printer and then just print the stickers Now the reason you want to use vinyl sticker paper specifically is because vinyl is super durable It's also waterproof. Okay, so it looks like the stickers have finished printing It's now time to take this back to our desk and continue on with the next step. Okay, so I've got the stickers right here, and um, obviously we're not gonna ship them to the customer like this. We have to cut them out first, right? And so that is where these sharp puppies come in at, because all we're gonna do is just quickly cut out the stickers. Now, there is something called a Cricut that will cut your stickers flawlessly for you automatically, but this device costs around $120. And if you're just getting started and you just kinda wanna get your feet wet and see if you can start making money with this side hustle, then I think cutting them out at first is perfectly fine. Once it gets to a point where you're doing a lot of orders, then it would make a lot more sense to buy a device that can automatically cut your stickers for you so that you can save time. And so as you can see, we've already finished cutting the stickers out and I think that these look amazing. And so from this point, we've got our stickers and all I would do is just take my flat mailer. This is what we'll use to actually ship the stickers with. I mean, you could technically use an envelope and ship your stickers for super cheap, but you risk having the stickers get bent during transit. And so I would recommend shipping with a flat mailer like this, like a rigid flat mailer so that your stickers don't bend when they're being shipped. And you can literally buy these for about 28 cents on Amazon. And so I'll go ahead and put the stickers inside of this rigid mailer, this flat mailer, seal it up and then place the shipping label directly on the flat mailer, the rigid mailer. And like that, you're good to go. And the shipping label is handled directly within Etsy. You can buy the label and then print it from Etsy and it really shouldn't cost you more than about a dollar and 30 cents. But then that's it. And the best part is I don't even have to go and drop this package off at the post office because I can either just put this inside of my mailbox or I can have the post office come pick it up from my house completely free. Now, if you wanna see a part two of this video where I do things like buy additional equipment, like an automatic sticker cutter to continue expanding the business, as well as as continuing to create products and just find ways to increase my sales, be sure that you drop a comment down below so that I know enough of you are actually interested. You're amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I'm watching you. I believe in you. And as always, I'll see you again very soon. Take care.